Church of Scientology, there is no God. There is no deity. There is no worship. Scientology, Inc. is a reverse-engineered religion. What do I mean by reverse-engineered? It means that specifications of what makes a religion were studied. There are such a thing as religious academics. These are guys that study religion and compare one religion to another and do thesis and doctorates and papers on modern religions and new age religions. And they list what are the common denominators to call something a religion. So the Church of Scientology went and studied these prerequisites. If you have this, 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 and this, you're a religion. And then they reversed that and implemented these things. For example, Sunday services. Oh, yeah, I remember. A huge order came down. We all had to be ministers, and we had to be ordained, and wear crosses. We all had to do the minister's course. This was all part of the reverse engineering to say, hey, we're ministers. We, 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 we're religious. Okay, so there's no God, but Scientology, Inc. stresses how it's completely compatible with other religions and says when you first enter churches, it says, oh, you can be a Christian and a Scientologist. You can be, we have rabbis on course, go up, there, there are Buddhist monks doing TR courses. You, you can be any religion. Scientology is multi-denominational. It's not baloney. The Church of Scientology looked at the IRS uh, criteria for a religion and they copied it. Now, in 1992, when the Church of Scientology International was making a new application for 501c3 tax exemption, the IRS asked them questions and answers. The Church had to engage in Q&A with the IRS, no less, and they hate Q&A, question and answer. The IRS said, can you be a member of another religion and still be a Scientologist? The IRS wanted to know if their PR line was real. What they told the IRS and what you're reading on screen, they said, no, in actual practice, you cannot be. In actual practice, if you become a Scientologist, you're expected to stop being a member of what you were previously. You can't have other practices. This is for all kinds of reasons, but one reason in the IRS code, one of the criteria for being a criterion for being a religion is that you have to be only that religion. In other words, you have to have a distinctive religious identity. You can do some baby intro courses. They, they, they're weaning you for greater things. They're weaning you for the big rich, big sales cycle. So you can, you can be a f honest Buddhist in baby courses. But once you start doing the levels, you are sent to the ethics officer for other practices. And this sentence, what's true for you is true for you, is the complete opposite of what happens. Never mind what's true for you. You doggone do what we tell you is true for you or else. So what's true for you is will become what's true for the Church of Scientology. Yes, yes. So, so, it, it, mm -hmm. so there's a, Karen, there's a, uh, almost a bait and switch. They tell you you can be a Christian, a Jew, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. But then, how, then they tell you, stop, that's other practices. You can't engage in other practices and be a Scientologist. Just curious, on the bridge to total freedom, at what point do they tell you to stop being your current religion? 
Does it come after life repair? I think you can get through the grades, but you certainly can't have a level called power. As well as, you, you almost have to get permission in writing to go to a wedding in a Baptist church, because going to a Methodist Baptist church? It's spat on as some ritualistic, uh, pe people don't realize this when they walk into Scientology. They say, oh, I can still be a Christian. <laughs> So while there is no God in Scientology, it's very, very funny that Scientology itself impersonates God. Scientology decides who you can be friendly with and who you must unfriend not, who disconnects from you, who you can talk to, who you can, what you can read. Can you go to the internet? Can you, your life is ruled and Scientology believes it's the only answer and the only creator of wisdom and the only... So, in other words, Scientology believes it is God. It is the total source of knowledge, of wisdom, of doctrines, of behavior, of conduct. So, <laughs> Scientology believes if you pray, you are talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself? You so, know why? Why? In all the money you spend in Scientology, I'm sorry if I giggle, you're supposed to finally realize you are God. I am God. We are God. In, you know, three billion, four quillion years ago when we were in good shape, we were OTs. We could snap our fingers and bam, a planet is created. The galaxies are made because we were God. And Scientology says, come with us, hold our hand, and we'll take you back to that. OT, we will make you back to the godlike state that you were once. Wouldn't you like to? snap your fingers and have nebulars and milky ways be created? Just give money to Scientology. Just pay up. <laughs>